Hello and happy day. Have you reminded yourself to slow down today? To reduce the noise? To listen? My name is Igor, SF Walker, and I'm here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. Every week, as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. Today, we look at Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Change as a choice instead of a reaction. It seems that human nature is such that we bulk at changing until things get really bad. And we're so uncomfortable that we can no longer go on with business as usual. This is as true for an individual as it is for a society. We wait for crisis, trauma, loss, disease, and tragedy before we get down to looking at who we are, what we are doing, and how we are living, what we are feeling, and what we believe or know in order to embrace true change. Often it takes a worst case scenario for us to begin making changes that support our health relationships, career, family, and our future. My message is, why wait? We can learn and change in a state of pain and suffering, or we can evolve in a state of joy and inspiration. If I allow the outer world to control how I think and feel, my external environment is patterning circuits in my brain to make me think equal to everything familiar to me. The result is that I create more of the same by hardwiring my brain to reflect the problems, personal conditions, and circumstances in my life. So to change, I must be greater than all things physical in my life. We unconsciously live by a set of memorized behaviors, thoughts, and emotional reactions, all running right computer programs behind the scenes of our conscious awareness. That's why it is not enough to just simply think positive, because of most of who we are resides subconsciously as negativity in the body. We either live in the anticipation of future events or repeatedly visit past memories, or sometimes both, until the body begins to believe it is living in a time other than the present moment. The latest research supports the notion that we have a natural ability to change the brain and body by thought alone, so that it looks biologically like some future event has already happened. Because you can make thoughts more real than anything else, you can change who you are from brain cell to gene, given the right understanding. When you learn how to use your attention and access the present, you will enter through the door into the quantum field where all potential exists. Living in survival and living in creation. Living in survival entails living in stress and functioning as a materialist, believing that the outer world is more real than the inner world. When I'm under the gun of the fight-or-flight nervous system being ran by its cocktail of intoxicating chemicals, I am programmed to be concerned only about my body, the things or people in my environment, and my obsession with time. My brain and body are out of balance. I am living a predictable life. However, when I am truly in the elegant state of creation, I am nobody, no thing, and no time. I forget about myself, I become pure consciousness. Thinking, to doing, to being. Now you will embrace the concept that you have three brains that allow you to move from thinking, to doing, to being. Even better, when you focus your attention to the exclusion of your environment, your body, and time, you can easily move from thinking into being without having to do anything. And in that state of mind, your brain does not distinguish what is happening in the outer world of reality and what is happening in the inner world of your mind. Thus, if you can mentally rehearse a desired experience via thought alone, you will experience the emotions of that event before it has physically manifested. Now, you're moving into a new state of being because your mind and body 
are working as one. When we stand in front of that mirror and look at our love handles, we don't just see that slightly too pudgy vision reflected in the glass. We also see, depending on the mood, that day, a slimmer, fitter version of ourselves or a heavier, chunkier version. Now, which one is real? Which image is real? Always, in order to change, we have to come to new understanding of self and the world so that we can embrace new knowledge and have new experiences. Your thoughts have consequences so great that they create your reality. Now, can I use my mind to create my reality? And if so, is that a skill that we can learn and use to become who we want to be in order to create the life we want to experience? Think about it. If you really knew that this principle was true, would you ever miss a day of intentionally creating your desired destiny? To change your life, change your beliefs about the nature of reality. Until you break from the way you see your present reality, any change in life will always be health hazard and transitory. When we combine an elevated emotion with an open heart and a conscious intention with clear thought, we signal the field to respond in amazing ways. The quantum field responds not to what we want, it responds to who we are being. Break free from the emotions that you have memorized, which have become your personality. To change your life, change your beliefs about the nature of reality. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like it, share it with the world, subscribe to my channel, and you can find a direct link to this book in the description below. Get it, read. Thank you, love and respect.